Hi, I'm Lisa Martin with Pampered Chef and welcome to my Keto Kitchen. Um, I was showing you on my last video how to make taco salad and it is a great, great winner. And our mason jar, I could not find the lid to, but it was down here with the lids. Imagine that. So here's the lid and I've got it full of ranch dressing, my homemade keto ranch dressing. Make sure you look that up. Oh, you've got to try that. And then see how it opens up and you have a big, and you can set it in the refrigerator. But remember I told you I couldn't find the lid? There really is a lid to it and it's all amazing. So I just wanted you to see that. So I've been on the road for about eight days and I wanted pizza so bad. But there's so many, so many carbs and I didn't want to have to take everything with me. I found these at a Meyer store, okay? And they have nine, for a half of one, it has nine carbs, but four of them are fiber, so it's five. That's a pretty big one, so you really don't need it more than half. You probably could half it off a little bit more. So what I did is I bought the, these, and then I always buy a big one of pepperonis because you can make chips out of these and everything. One day I'll make chips out of these. These are amazing. Okay, so I always buy the big one of that. And I got me some pizza sauce, which is five carbs for a fourth of a cup, which I'm only gonna use about two tablespoons of this. But there is one carb of fiber in it, so four. So I got this, okay, and my cheese. Of course, I always buy cheese because I like cheese on my cheese. And you can even put piles of this up in the microwave and just heat it up and eat it with a spoon. It's awesome. This is great. Cheese is good for you, okay? So what I did is I bought some little plates I had to make me one of our slushies. If you haven't gotten the recipe to this slushy, this keto slush, you've got to have it. And then make sure you get these from Pampered Chef that come in a pouch. I carried them with me so I didn't have to use the ones at the restaurant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open these up, okay? And I already made one, so I did cut it in half, but it didn't travel too well. So I'm going to take another one out. And I'm gonna cut it in half. And you know me, I'm OCD, so I have to put it in half to make sure that it's not one minute, one bit over. And I'm just gonna slide my paring knife down it. They are so easy to cut. Okay, now I'm gonna eyeball the rest of it. It's just close to it as I can, and I'm going to put it on my plate like this, and I'm going to put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds, okay, just to kind of loosen it up a little bit. So I'm going to put it in the microwave for 10 seconds. I don't know what we did without microwaves, but yeah, when I was growing up, we didn't have one, and then they got one when I was growing and I just thought, that is the most amazing thing there is. Okay, so got that. Now this would probably be equivalent to your um, thin crusted pizza, which I always liked anyways because I have a hiatal hernia and I'm really not supposed to have carbs. That's one of the things of the many reasons that I've done keto is that health-wise, I feel so much better. My blood pressure, I don't take blood pressure medicine. I don't take cholesterol medicine. And this is really good for you. A high hedal hernia, I don't have to take any medication for that. So this has really helped me a lot physically as well. So I'm going to take some of our pizza sauce and I'm not even gonna get picky with it. I'm just gonna get a couple of tablespoons and spread it around on this plate. Just kind of spread it around. And this is room temperature. I haven't refrigerated it or nothing. So I'm just going to, you don't want too much of this because you're just making a small pizza with it. Okay. And you could actually turn this into like a calzone if you wanted to. You put it in half. Okay. Now you can add whatever you want. You can put olives on this. You can put mushrooms on this. I'm just going to put some pepperonis. Okay. Because I'm making it and I'm not gonna eat it right now. It's gonna be my lunch, okay? So I'm just gonna put a good amount of pepperonis. I like to have all these because these are great snacks and you can make them into chips, which I will do a YouTube video one day 
on that. But I'm just going to spread it around. Just kind of eyeball it. Okay. And then I got a big bag. I bought these. This is all stuff I bought at the grocery store on vacation. It's nice to go to small, big towns sometimes and see what they have. Um, so you can see different things. I actually saw people walking around with earphones in their ears, and I did not know what that was. Uh, my sisters had to tell me that that was a shopping service that they had that were grocery shop for them. And I had never heard of it. Um, so it's good to, to do that, okay? I'm going to put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds, and then I'll check it to see if the cheese, but this is all it is. I think they were telling me that that was DoorDash, but what I normally like to do is buy the Rayo's uh, marinade, and then that way you can make it into sp spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce. You just add more oregano if you want to on it. You can also add um, Parmesan cheese to this too, but I didn't today. Okay, I'm just making it. Okay, the cheese has not melted, so I'm going to try a little bit longer, 20 seconds. Evidently, that isn't long enough. And these were kind of pricey. I think they were like five dollars for four of them. But you use half at a time, so you could even freeze them so they don't, you know, just to make sure. I keep them refrigerated because there isn't a lot of preservatives in it. And but you can make roll-ups out of these and do all kinds of things with them. Okay, so, so far, I would say it's about a minute in the microwave. So, give or take, everybody's microwave is different. Something that I came up on was this, Mayo. Um, it does have some things, citric, ci citric acid in it, which I'm not thrilled about. But once in a while, to add this to your water is great. Um, Meyer is a place that they have there in Michigan where I went. And this is erythritol. And you can, one drop is one teaspoon. So it's great for your coffee and, okay. It smells so, so good. And what you could do is add some oregano to it or something, but look at how nice that is, okay? So I'm gonna cut off a piece so that I can try it. And these you can whip up pretty quickly. So it's good to have them. And I don't remember if we have those, if we sell those around where I live here. I don't remember seeing them. Uh, what I do is I just cut a little piece off here. Like I say, this is, would be equivalent to your thin crusted pizza, which is what I always got when I ordered pizza. But even the cauliflower crusts are 30 and 40 carbs because they've added so much to it to keep them. You know, so I'm going to blow on it because it's very, very hot. Mmm. You have got to try this. If you love pizza, you have got to, got to try this. This tastes just like the thin crust pizza. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Don't forget to share my videos. I really, really appreciate everybody's helpfulness in getting my videos around. Um, YouTube has contacted me and told me that I now qualify for some extra things that I can add to my videos, which I have to learn about. <laughs> but anyways, I'm so, so thankful for everybody um, sharing my videos and subscribing and ringing the bell and commenting. I'm making friends all over the world, and I would have never thought that I could help that many people because this has really helped me a lot. Again, I'm going to take another bite. Mmm. It's only 9.30 in the, month, uh, in the morning. I know it's too early. But like I said, if you can have breakfast for supper, surely you can have pizza for breakfast. <laughs> this is so, so good. Thank you. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And have a wonderful day.